Hello. What I'd like to do today is to demonstrate how to redistribute routes into EIGRP. Uh, for simplicity purposes, I have a rip route that doesn't look like a whole lot, but by leveraging uh, loopback addresses, loopback networks, we can have a lot of different routes. But I have a rip network here and an EIGRP network here. Take a look at the, the router that has uh, interfaces in each of the uh, routes here. I have D, dual, or EIGRP, depending on which story. So we have a bunch of different routes here. And then down here we have some RIP routes. Uh, we got 60 and 70 uh, are, are going to be RIP routes. And we're also obviously advertising the, uh, the uh, uh, network that uh, has the uh, interface connecting the two routers in it. If I go up here just to show that we don't have any yet, and this is obviously Packet Tracer, and we're using uh, EIGRP30. And if we show, can't get my route. Then here we have uh, connected routes and a few D or EIG some a few yeah a few EIGRP routes. So we have a number of difference, but we are no R no rip route. So what I want to do is go to the uh, router that has an interface in the RIP network and in the EIGRP network and what I'm going to do is put the RIP routes into EIGRP so that those networks can be shared with the uh, rest of the EIGRP network. So we're going to config T and we're going to router EIGRP 30 and then we're going to redistribute and the, and the question mark here is what are, what are we going to redistribute we're going to redistribute rip and then we have to have a metric and the metrics I'm going to go through the, the help screen the bandwidth that we want to use here in kilobits per second so uh, we could have our 100 meg would be on 100 kilobits but a hundred thousand would be a hundred meg Incomplete command because we have to finish it. The next one is uh, the EIGRP delay metric in microseconds. You know, we put 2,000 in there. The next metric is the EIGRP reliability metric. 255 is 100% reliable. We'll make it 100% reliable. Let's see. And then effective bandwidth metric for 255 is. 100% loaded. Now let's do something like not very loaded. And then the uh, MTU, and let's put 1500 uh, for the MTU, the standard MTU. So if we now do an exit and an exit. So if we go to one of these other routers, this one's already going to have the rip route. So if we go to this other router up here, and let's try the show IP route then we have D we have external routes which are the 14 uh, 50 60 and 70 networks uh, we'll go back but notice that they are external routes they have an external EIGRP administrative distance of 170 where all the other EIGRP routes are 90 so just to show that those were the RIP routes, the 60 and the 70 and, and those guys, show IP route, and then we have the 60 and the 70, uh, the, the, well, is it 140 is the, uh, is the connecting devices, which because of administrative distances, since it's advertised for both EIGRP and RIP, it's only going to be uh, displayed for the RIP route. Let's, let's show EI, so IP, EIGRP, and also the topology table. Uh, when we look at that, we, we have the, the standard routes here. So uh, we have the ability here to redistribute, and you notice that there were other options in there. I, I, I did RIP because a RIP network is, is quick and easy to set up. Go back to this one to be sure that we're getting distributed everywhere. The adjacencies are there. Show IP route.
route and we have our external routes here the D they're now distributed as EIGRP routes but because they started as something else they are external routes so uh, quick little video here how to uh, redistribute RIP into G EIGRP uh, thank you for watching and I hope this has been useful